as I mentioned in my previous VOR navigation tutorial, the first thing that we need to do in order to fly using our VOR instrument is to enter the frequency of the VOR station we're flying to into our nav1 radio. In our case, that frequency is 115.7 MHz. We're going to put it in the radio, switch it to the active side, and then turn on the nav1 radio in order to identify the station. The beeping sound that you will hear at some point during the flight confirms that the aircraft has successfully identified the VOR station. For now, let's just turn on the lights, uh, add some flaps, and prepare for takeoff. During takeoff, I want you to pay attention to the VOR instrument. That's the instrument on the upper right-hand corner of your instrument panel. Once we become airborne, the needle will deviate to the right. I will explain why that happens later on during this tutorial. I also want you to pay attention to the lower portion of your instrument. Uh, there is an arrow that's pointing downward. An arrow that points downward indicates that we are coming from a VOR station. But in our case, we are flying to the VOR station. Why does the arrow indicate that we are coming from that station? Well, the reason is that this instrument is not very smart. Right now, when we look at this map, we are at KLAX, that's Los Angeles International Airport. So the instrument thinks that we have flown all the way from our VOR station and we have arrived at KLAX. To tell the instrument that this is not true, we have to turn the OBS knob, that's the knob located at the bottom of the VOR instrument, until that arrow flips upward. An upward arrow indicates that we are going to the VOR station. Next, in order to select the proper course to the VOR station, we have to continue rotating the OBS knob until the needle is centered again. Once that happens, look at the upper portion of your VOR instrument and read the proper heading. In our case, it's about 115 degrees. That's 25 degrees southeast. Put that heading in your heading indicator by rotating the proper knob. But look, the needle uh, in the VOR instrument has just started to deviate to the right. That means the course that we just selected, that's the 115 degree course, is located to our right. Now we want to get on that course. In other words, we want to intercept that course. What's the best way to intercept that course? Right now, we're flying a heading of 60 degrees. The best way to intercept the 115 degree heading is to intercept it at a 90 degree angle. So we are flying 60 at 90 degrees and that will give us a heading of 150 degrees. So fly in the heading of 150 degrees until you intercept the proper course. How do you know you have intercepted the course? Well, that needle will start moving to the center.
Okay, so right now, as you can see, uh, the needle is starting to get centered. That shows that we are intercepting the 150 degree course. Okay, just give it some time. So there you go. Uh, the needle just got centered. Now we're gonna turn left until we're lined up with the 115 degree course. And then we're just gonna fly that heading until we arrive at the VOR station of our interest. If the needle is, the, is to the right, you fly to the right until it's centered. If it's to the left, you fly to the left until it's uh, centered. Uh, so basically your job as a pilot is to keep that needle centered once you are in the proper uh, course. So again, let's see what we have here. Uh, the heading indicator shows that we are uh, flying a uh, heading of 115 degrees. Uh, that's the course that we selected. The needle is centered, so that shows that we are uh, in the right course and we are not deviated from the right course. Uh, that arrow is pointing upward, indicating that we are flying to the VOR station. And we're just going to climb to 3,000 feet uh, and maintain that altitude. Uh, what else? Okay. If you look at your DME, that's the instrument basically at the bottom of your radio stack, you see two numbers. The left one basically shows your distance from the VOR station. So right now, you're about 40 nautical miles away from the station. And the right one basically shows your speed relative to the station. Uh, right now, it's about 85 uh, nautical, uh, 85 knots. Uh, okay, so we're just going to continue flying this course till we arrive at the VR station, and I'll show you uh, what's the next step. So right now we are about one nautical mile away from the VR station. At this point, uh, since we're so close to the station, the needle uh, becomes very sensitive and you really have to put in extra effort and energy in order to maintain it in the center position. Uh, eventually, we're going to get uh, to the VOR station. When we are flying directly above the VOR station, uh, you neither see an upward or a downward arrow. So there we go. It's just a flag uh, indicating that we are right above uh, the VOR station, and right after that, the arrow will flip downward, indicating that now uh, we are flying from the VOR station. So we're just going to fly from the VOR station for another two, three minutes, and don't worry about the needle. Uh, we're still pretty close to uh, the VOR station, so it's very sensitive. As we go further and further away, uh, the needle uh, will uh, center itself if you maintain that 115 uh, degree heading. Uh, so let's just take a look at that um, and you will see that the needle will eventually get centered. We will fly the 115 degree heading for another 2-3 minutes and then we're just going to fly uh, northeast and I'll show you how to do that.